I'm back with a significantly more broken laptop than last time, but today I'm going to be answering the most Google questions about mice. So a couple of months ago I filmed a very similar video to this with rats, and I wanted to do the same thing with mice because rats and mice are very misunderstood animals, there's a lot of stigma and myths surrounding both of them, so it's going to be interesting to see if the questions reflect that, or if people are just googling things to do with how to care for them. So yeah, let's get googling and see what kind of things people are curious about when it comes to mice. If my laptop screen falls off at any point in this video, please don't laugh, I am trying to buy a new laptop, but they're not open at the moment. So let's try, do mice, do mice like cheese? Yes, mice do like cheese, I wouldn't suggest giving it to them on a regular basis. Mice are actually considered lactose intolerant, so I don't recommend giving them cheese as a treat. The mice do like cheese, whether it's good for them or not, there's definitely other things they do like more though. Do mice hibernate? No, mice do not hibernate. They can actually go into something called torpor, and I do have a whole video on that when one of my mice went into torpor, which has actually helped a lot of people, which I'm so thankful for, so I'll leave that in the iCards and the description. But no, mice do not hibernate, but they do go into a hibernation-like state if they get too cold or their body starts shutting down, and this is called torpor. Do mice squeak? Yes, mice squeak. They squeak to communicate with each other. They can squeak if they're in pain. There's many reasons why mice might squeak, but yes, they do. Do mice carry diseases? Yes, mice can carry diseases. I'm not going to lie to you and say that they don't. Mostly this is going to be wild mice. Wild mice can carry a lot of diseases you should be careful with, especially if you have domesticated mice. You don't want them catching the same diseases those mice carry, but mice and rats get a lot of bad reputation because they are disgusting animals that carry diseases. And I wouldn't say they carry more diseases than the average wild animal anyway, but they do have the potential to carry them. So yes, it's something to be aware of but not something that should make you avoid domesticated animals because most of the time they don't carry diseases that are going to affect you anyway. Do mice live alone? Mice in the wild naturally will live in large groups. This is a bit difficult to replicate in captivity because male mice are highly aggressive towards other males, which means you can't house them together. And this can be a bit tricky because obviously they're social animals, they do need that social input. This is quite difficult when you've got a male mouse and you can't just put them in with females unless they're neutered because you'll end up with a lot of babies. So no, mice don't live alone in the wild, but in captivity, male mice sometimes do have to live alone. Females, on the other hand, do have to live in groups. For male mice, I'd recommend for them, try to get them neutered if possible, just to make sure they can have that social aspect and live with other females. Do mice bite? Yes, mice have the potential to bite, they have teeth, and any animal that has teeth does have the potential to bite. Dogs, cats, mice, they all have that potential. But whether they will or not does depend on the mouse's temperament and where you're at in the taming process. Most of the time, well-bred, tame mice won't bite you, but it is something to bear in mind that mice can and will bite, especially if they're scared, because that is their defense mechanism. They're a prey species, and biting is the way they protect themselves. So yes, mice do bite, but not always, especially if you have a very tame pet mouse. <laughs> do mice have bones? I got this question when I was Googling this for rats, and I'm not sure why so many people are confused about whether rats and mice have bones. Yes, they are mammals, they have bones. If they didn't have bones, they'd just be a weird, fluidy mess of tissue and fluid. They'd just be sat there not being able to move or function. So yes, mice do have bones. Do mice and rats live together? No, I really don't recommend ever allowing rats and mice to interact. In the wild, they would not naturally interact with each other or live together, and that's because rats can actually be considered a predator of mice. They're much bigger, and given the chance, they will actually kill and possibly even eat mice. So when it comes to our domestic rats and mice, keeping them as far away from each other as possible is best. Okay, let's try our mice. Are mice nocturnal? Some sources will tell you that mice are nocturnal, meaning they're awake during the night time. Other sources will tell you that mice are crepuscular. Personally, I'd say they're a bit more of a mix of both. My mice are also awake during the day because if they hear me in here, they want to interact with me. So mice are considered crepuscular or nocturnal, depending on which source you read, but personally, I'd say they're crepuscular. Are mice dangerous? This is something that fuels a lot of fear surrounding mice. A lot of people are scared of them because they think they're dangerous. And I find this funny now, I think because I'm so used to owning mice, looking at a tiny, innocent, precious little animal and imagining it ever being dangerous does make me laugh, but no, in the grand scheme of things, compared to big predators, mice are not dangerous. Yes, they can carry some diseases, but as long as you just mind your own business and stay away from wild mice, they're not gonna hurt you. 
Are mice blind? No, mice are not blind unless you have a mouse that is specifically actually blind. Mice do have very, very poor vision though. They can only see about one to two feet in focus in front of them. So mice don't have very good eyesight, but they're not blind in that sense. Are mice herbivores? No, mice are actually omnivores, and this means they eat a combination of plant matter and also animal matter, so meat. Uh, this should be reflected in your care when you have pet mice. Make sure you're feeding them a diet that is suitable for an omnivore. Are mice mammals? Yes, they are mammals. Are mice good pets? This is a very subjective question. Mice are not going to be a good pet for everyone. I do have a video on this answering whether mice are going to be a good pet for you, which I do recommend checking out. I'll leave in the eye cards and the description. But yeah, personally, I might be a bit biased, but I think mice are really good pets. So let's try something a bit different. Let's try our pet mice. Are pet mice friendly? This obviously depends on their temperament. Each mouse is going to be very different. I do recommend going to someone that breeds mice for a good temperament and breeds them to be friendly. That's your best bet when it comes to getting a friendly mouse is going to a good reputable breeder. If you get a mouse from a pet store, they're not usually bred to have a good temperament and they're not handled regularly. So you have to do all of that work yourself and they might not be necessarily the friendliest mouse possible. Are pet mice noisy at night? I would say sometimes. I sleep in a separate bedroom all the way down the hallway and I can still sometimes hear the mice in the night. Mostly it's them interacting with their cage, so running on the wheel, jumping on things or drinking from the water bottles. Sometimes you can actually hear them squeaking to each other if they're fighting over food or something, but sometimes they do have the potential to be noisy, so that is something to take into consideration if you want them in your bedroom or something. They are gonna be most active during night time, so yeah, they can be noisy sometimes. This one makes no sense when it comes to grammar. It says, are mice smell? Um, yes, is the answer. Mice can smell sometimes. You can do different things to combat this, so using a good absorbent bedding, but at the end of the day, they are gonna have a smell to them. Male mice especially, I can't even describe how bad that smells, but mice do have a bit of an odor to them, and that is something to expect. Are pet mice cuddly? I get asked this quite a lot, and I really don't want people to be disappointed if they go out and get mice, expecting mice to be a cuddly pet, because most of the time, I'd say about 80% of the time, you are not gonna get a cuddly mouse. So I've had nine mice now, and I'd say that only two or three of them out of those nine have been cuddly, and those have been from good reptile breeders. The rest of them are much more active and don't like to be held or sit still for a long period of time, Vixen, Pearl, and kind of Olive are the only mice that I've had that like to sit still and spend time with you. Vixen's the only one that I would really describe as cuddly, but she is definitely an exception. So I would say if you're looking for a pet that's gonna be cuddly, mice are probably not gonna live up to that standard. Of course, there's always gonna be exceptions with people that have very cuddly mice, but I wouldn't say go out and get mice just because you want a cuddly pet. Mice are much better suited to people that are like active, entertaining pets rather than ones that are gonna be cuddly because you might end up being quite disappointed. Let's try do pet mice, do pet mice burrow? Yes, mice naturally burrow in the wild. And I do think it is really important to try to replicate this with your mouse enclosure. So giving them a deep layer of bedding is really important, not using beddings like fleece or anything like paper pellets because that is really hard for them to burrow in. I do recommend having a section in their cage with deep bedding to allow them to burrow and express their natural behaviors. Do pet mice like to swim? No, pet mice don't like to swim. Mice in the wild will swim if they have to, and they can swim because if they need to escape something or get somewhere, they can actually swim across rivers and stuff. But no, pet mice don't like to swim, so please don't force them to swim or give them baths or anything because they are not gonna enjoy that. In fact, I don't recommend getting your pet mice completely soaked or submerging them in water at all. Not only is this gonna be really stressful for them, but they are so small they do have trouble regulating their body temperature and if you get them wet they're not going to be able to dry off very quickly and this can actually decrease their body temperature and they can go into things like shock or torpor and they can actually die from this so i don't recommend getting your pet mice wet if for whatever reason they do accidentally get wet please put them on a heat source to warm them up just in case do pet mice need a wheel? I would say yes. Some people will argue not to use a wheel at all, but I do recommend, especially if you don't have your mice out very often, especially with them being so active at nighttime, I do think it is important to give them some source of activity, but just make sure the wheel you're using is big enough. I recommend nothing really smaller than about eight inches, depending on the size of your mice. 
please don't use any wire or mesh wheels and just make sure the wheel you're using is big enough because I personally think it's better not to have a wheel at all than be using a really tiny wire one with them so please just make sure if you do want to give them a wheel you're using one that is going to be safe and big enough. Do pet mice like sun baths? I've had this question quite a lot recently and I'm not too sure where it's come from. I think maybe it's with people that are used to keeping hamsters and obviously hamsters do have to have sun baths. I don't recommend using sun baths with mice. I don't think they really benefit from it in the same way that hamsters do. And also sand can be quite dusty and mice have very sensitive respiratory systems. So I don't recommend using sand in your mouse enclosure and it's definitely not necessary. Should mice drink out of a bowl? I give my mice an option of a water bottle and a water bowl just so they have the choice and this is completely up to you which one you'd prefer to use but personally the way I look at it is it's a lot easier to drink from a bowl, you can get a lot more water all at once. I just give them the water bottle as well just in case they knock the bowl over, they've still got that water source but to me it seems a lot nicer drinking naturally out of a bowl than having to sip the little water bottle thing so I give them both but it's completely up to you which one you prefer. It can be quite difficult giving them a bowl of water because they like to chuck all of their bedding in there. Oh gosh, should I release pet mice into the wild? So no, this is a terrible idea and unfortunately it's something I still see happening with rats and mice is people finding domesticated ones out in the wild and they are the lucky ones that have survived most of the time they are not going to survive in the wild, they don't know how to survive when it comes to finding their own food and water and shelter, they have been bred for generations to live in captivity and they don't always have that natural instinct to find what they need and also most of the time they are going to be an unnatural colour, they're not going to be that agouti colour you'd find in the wild, a bright white mouse or a bright orange mouse is going to stick out to predators like I saw them so it's pretty much always an immediate death sentence for them if you release them into the wild so please don't do that. Also releasing any domesticated animal whether it's a fish, a mouse, a bird messes with the natural ecosystem because they're not native to that country so please just don't do it all around it's a terrible idea. If you need to get rid of your mice and you can't keep them for whatever reason go to a rescue they're going to be more than happy to help you and take those animals out of a bad situation. So that is pretty much it, I can't think of anything else to Google when it comes to mice. I was expecting a lot more questions regarding wild mice and pest control, but there was also some questions about keeping mice as pets, which is good, I guess more people are curious about how to keep them as pets, and they're becoming more popular in the pet trade. Unfortunately our still mystery didn't overlook a lot as pets, but hopefully people googling this are finding good information of how to care for them, and they're going to care for them properly. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you learned something new. I know a lot of you were asking me to do this ever since I did the one with rats. So here you go. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.